continue to have a wonderful career. I'm very blessed to have done a little bit of everything. Uh, people that know me know I don't like to, to get stagnant. I like to try and do new and different things in my career. Um, every job is different. I think that's what makes life as a landscape architect so exciting. Uh, every job is totally different. No two jobs are the same. And uh, over the 40 years, almost 40 years that I've been practicing, uh, I think that's what keeps, keeps me going. Uh, I try to make the most of each and every day. And uh, the older you get, you look at things that really mean a lot to you and uh, philosophy and the things that uh, we all know that, or you should know, the youngsters that are in the audience today. Make the most of every day because you don't know if you're going to have a tomorrow. And uh, my personal philosophy is to help everybody get what they want, whether it be my clients or my employees or friends. Help others get what they want and you'll get what you want out of life. Uh, I, as so many of you that knew, that know Ed Martin, uh, love him, and I think I can honestly say I am what I am as a landscape architect because of Ed Martin. And I was one of the lucky ones that had a lot of interaction with Ed. And uh, not only as a professor, but as you know, Ed had family late in, in his life. So his son Curtis and my daughter Claudia were the, were playing together when I was at school. We went to church together. So I had a very close relationship with his family and that meant a lot to me and I continued to email him. And he, he, he emailed me more than I'd email him. People that get his emails, you know what I mean. <laughs> but they're, they're all wonderful. Uh, how and why I do things I do, I look back and, and think of uh, what, he, what he taught me he, we were talking outside this morning. Uh, I had him, I don't even remember so many classes, but introduction to, to design. And uh, what I always tell people is Ed Martin taught me to see. And it kind of, kind of sounds crazy, but you, you think about it. I came here, uh, I was, I'd been in the Air Force, and uh, I had tried to figure out what I wanted to do in life. And long story short, I did figure out when I came here, I wanted to be a landscape architect. So I was serious when I came here. And Ed Martin taught me how to look at things in, in, my, in my mind and with my eyes and really see it and uh, understand it and how nature, uh, you know, how everything works. And I think that that's just, I know that's meant so much to me as as uh, I've been through my great career as a landscape architect. Uh, when Bob called me and we talked about what uh, to talk about <coughs> and uh, kind of related to Ed Martin since this is his symposium, uh, I can talk about a lot of different things. We kind of settle up the details. I, I don't know why, but Ed would always say, it's, you know, it's all in the details. But when I sat down and started putting my pictures together to share with you, some stuff and you know, see some things that I've done. Uh, when I when I started, I, I just started by putting together. I looked at some of my favorite projects over the last ten years, and I've been blessed over the last ten years to to really have some incredible projects, some incredible clients. And uh, when I was looking at details and stuff, several things emerged from these pictures, and. Uh, one thing I already knew is uh, I love master planning. And for the youngsters, again, in the audience, uh, I tell all my clients, and anytime anybody has ever heard me before, if I get an opportunity to stand in front of a group of anybody, I, I say the same thing. I get on my soapbox and I say, if you don't know anything about landscape architects, you need to know about master planning. Uh, you know, we can do a lot of different things, but if you've only got a X number of dollars, you need to spend it on a master plan. And 
when we graduated in 73, Ed told us the number one problem we were going to have is people didn't know what we did. And I, I take that opportunity to this day to get up and say, tell people what we really do. And master planning is that key. And when I looked at all my details and looked at everything else, it all comes together as the master plan of all thousands of details. And uh, what, what makes a project great is the master plan. Uh, the, the thing that Ed told us then is, unfortunately, it's still true. Uh, it's gotten better, but people still don't know what landscape architects really do. Uh, what the master plan holds it all together and it makes it, makes it in, you know, what makes the project enjoyable for the client, what makes it look beautiful, what makes it function properly, is putting it all together and, and master planning is what, what it's all about and that's what, what uh, I love to do. Uh, we put the team together for any project and uh, it's all about a team. It's, you know, I may be the leader of the team, but it's all these different parts of that puzzle to make a project, and that's what we're going to look at today. And some pictures is what what pulls it all together and makes it uh, a, a successful project. Um, the uh, what what my client desires is always number one, and I try to teach the people that work with me to understand. It's not their place. They don't. They don't live there. The client lives there. We want to make it what they want, and uh, look at you know is all of those things. Okay, if we can turn the lights off, Bob. We just got to talk about some <laughs> pictures that uh, I put together, and to illustrate what I'm talking about. I'm not going. I'm not going to show complete projects, and you know, we've been listening to Ed over a homestead design big property. But what we're going to do now is look at bits and pieces of projects, and hopefully you'll get some some ideas or some idea, uh, understanding of how landscape architects work and how we uh, make projects uh, make the world a better place, really. But what what I made a living doing all my life, looking back on it, is, like I said, is master planning. I love when a client calls me with a site like that. And um, they, more and more people are doing that. I don't know in my area if it's the words got around that that's like, you know, I, I want to start with a project, a bare slate. But this client had 80 acres and uh, Actually, the building contractor that he called was a good friend of mine, he is a good friend of mine, and told him what he needed to do first to talk to Tom. So we took that 80 acres and from a lot of different maps and, and so forth, we came up with a master plan. And this is a close-up view, but back right where my red dot is is where that where that house is now. And uh, what we did was um, having that much room and the client didn't want people, obviously it's a huge house and he didn't want it to, to be seen from the road. So we took all the dirt from that and built berms. And uh, when you enter you know, now as it's grown in, and we, we actually moved these pine trees in and there's other trees with a tree machine. But as it grows in, you can't see the house from the road, but you enter and you enter into the berms, kind of like a golf course situation where you're going into the uh, what Ed was talking about, you know, not seeing it till you get there. Same idea. And it was funny when Ed was talking, you know, I was thinking, well, I, all these things I'm going to talk about are what you're talking about with Homestead. But we have an entrance that uh, I'm supposed to talk about details, but you know, details are everywhere, and you'll see uh, wonderful brickwork and ironwork, and just coming up to the entrance, and you get a glimpse of this house through the iron gates, but you don't see anything uh, else until you get down into there. The 
the uh, the swimming pool on that project uh, again you'll see a good bit of waterfalls that uh, over the I think clients will clients love waterfalls waterfalls are very hard to do and do right uh, we fortunately have some good craftsmen that like on this project that, that did it right but if you get into swimming pools and waterfalls swimming pools and waterfalls are a lot easier than just waterfalls by themselves but uh, this one we built with concrete all under it so there's no way it can leak and uh, the thing I'm illustrating here is is uh, what we did in detail wise instead of just putting a rock there for a jump rock we actually put different rocks there together and have steps for the kids you know to get up there and it, it all ties in beautifully to the whole design uh, you can swim up and have a little uh, seat there at the waterfall this is a pretty small waterfall but uh, this is the same project uh, that we started on same project again uh, this house is just full of details but they wanted this this whole garden here behind that wall these are behind the wall uh, is a private bedroom hot tub garden and detail wise the wood and uh, the details of stone carried you know from the house you can see on the house the house is stone and brick and we carried the stone and brick and stucco into this garden uh, this was some I've only done one of these in my life but that's a sh outdoor shower for the for the hot tub the client had health problems and, and wanted to be able to go into that hot tub from the master bedroom at any time day or night to utilize the hot tub therapeutically so that's the reason it was walled off and totally separate from the pool and hot tub for the for the family to use but detail wise you, this is just full of wonderful details and uh, you can see the, the way this is grown in uh, a little bit later this was actually during construction where we ran a hose up in there and we testing to see if it worked before we hooked it up to the water <coughs> this is that house again uh, I'm gonna get off this house right now but uh, lighting is huge to my work and I fortunately have a firm out of Atlanta that does all my lighting and I take no credit for it all I do is I bring them in and they they just create amazing results and uh, to come up on this I mean the, the jobs I have done and the lighting that we've done uh, there is totally a, a different world at night and I really love my jobs at night better than I do at daytime they just take on a whole new a whole new look uh,